15 minutes. Yes. Sarah, are you nearby? I have a dream, True. said Yosef in last week's Torah portion. I have a dream, said Pharaoh in this week's Torah portion. Am I dreaming now, says I, looking at this beautiful crowd here at Kanaka on Ice. 5782-2021. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, young and old, New York City is back! We are here. Welcome to Hanukkah on Ice 5782. This is our 14th year melting the dark, cold ice with the warmth, light, and fire of Hanukkah on Ice. I'm Rabbi Chaim, and you're not. My wife, Sarah, is the director of Chabad Family Programs. This ice menorah here in Hanukkah on Ice is a brainchild of Sarah Alevsky. My wife and I direct the Chabad Family Programs of the West Side. We are indebted to the Kogel family for inviting us to join the team of Chabad of Uwasai together with the Aussies and the Freeds and all the Chabad centers of Manhattan. We are mainly indebted to the Lubavitcher Rebbe whose inspiration brings us here tonight. Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the global spiritual leader who inspired over 5,000 Chabad centers to be opened around the globe. Just like us here tonight, there are over 5,000 Chabad centers dedicating their lives to bring meaning, warmth, love, and beauty to the world. So thank you to the Rebbe. Why are we here tonight? We're here tonight because we're celebrating the triumph of light over darkness, of good over evil, of the few over many. 2,200 years ago, the Syrian Greeks waged war against Judaism. Stop learning Torah. Stop keeping Shabbat. Stop observing the holy days. Stop eating kosher. They were many and mighty. We were few and weak. The Jewish people had to listen. But they didn't! Instead, a tiny band of brave Maccabees, guided by their deep faith in God and commitment to the Jewish traditions, stood up against the massive enemy army and prevailed against all odds. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you know this, help me for that we say. La, 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 thank you, Hashem. La, 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 thank you, Hashem. La, 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 thank you, Hashem. We are here celebrating the miracle of the oil. When, after their military victory, the Kohanim, the Jewish priests, entered the holy temple, desecrated by the enemy, to light the menorah. They searched and searched for oil that was fit for the mitzvah. After a long search, they finally found a small flask of pure oil, untouched with the untouched seal of the high priest. The oil was only a one-day measure that miraculously burned for eight days. And for that, we say, 
So if anybody else here is wearing shorts, shout out to you. But the miracle of Hanukkah was just like the miracle of my being able to walk again. I did not try to do everything right away. It was just always the next day, the next day, the next day. Just like Hanukkah. I didn't worry about the eighth day. I didn't worry about having enough oil. I just worried about could I have enough to make it to the next day and learn how to walk again. And here I am not only walking but skating in prosthetic legs. So Amazing. Woo. And Ariel also ran a marathon. Okay. Thank you so much. And the next person, uh, Susan. Come on up, 
welcome Susan Green. Okay. Susan, what's your message of Hanukkah? Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, let's see. My message for Hanukkah is that uh, when we light the menorah, we put it, we light the menorah ourselves with our family, and then we put it out in the window. And it takes such just a drop of light to dispel so much darkness and I think as Jews we're really blessed that we have so many ways every day and all throughout the year that uh, we can kind of bring more light to ourselves and to the world and to the Rebbe and the Mechabad Hebrew School for teaching our children and our family how to make more light for the world and bring more light into our lives. I like the kind of our minds are so bad. Thank you, Susan. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. And Carmel. To me, Hanukkah means unity. Each year, Hanukkah specifically bring people together. Hanukkah means students in Israel don't have school. Each year, friends in Israel come to New York and stay with us. Throughout most of the year, we are 5,000 miles apart. But during Hanukkah, we are walking the streets of Times Square and going to the M&M store. Hanukkah means great food. Lachot, Sufaniyot, and Gelt. Each year, during Hanukkah, my mom and I prepare Lachot together. Then, together with family and friends, we sing, eat together, and laugh together. Hanukkah means lighting the Hanukkah. Together, my family and our team light the Hanukkah all eight nights of Hanukkah. We place the Hanukkah on the windowsill as do our neighbors. Each window shines bright, and together the windows light up the streets of NYC. Thank you. Carmel is a C team member of the West Side. Yay. That's it. So thank you all. You've heard from four wonderful people about what their message of Hanukkah is. So think about your own and share it with the world. So why are we here tonight? Because of Hanukkah! Hanukkah and Hanukkah! As you just heard, we are here because the miracle of, miracles of Hanukkah are not a thing of the past. It's the way we live our lives today, every day. The Hanukkah lights are our source of tremendous inspiration all year round. These days are remembered, observed, and activated. Just as the Maccabees stood strong for the Torah, so too we stand strong for our Judaism. The Lubavitcher Rebbe inspired us and taught us that just as the Kohanim, the priest, found a small flask of pure oil so too, inside us, there is a place that is always pure and untouched. Pure and powerful, regardless, regardless of the circumstances, our experiences or environment. Nothing is broken beyond repair. We can all dip in to that pure fast within. It is our strength and the secret to our survival as a nation. And now, drum roll. We are honored to have with us a family very dear with us who we've known and loved since we joined Chabad of the West Side 14 years ago. The Morali family, Laurent, Liat, Ethan, Noam, and Ellie. Among other things, I've had the privilege of helping prepare all three for the bar mitzvahs. The Morali family have always been close friends and core supporters of ours. You can be too. Among the many accomplishments of Mr. Laurent Morali, Lee Einhara, aside from being married to his refined and elegant wife, Liat, and together raising their beautiful family, aside from his successful business endeavors as the CEO of Kushner Companies, aside from his athletic competence in soccer, aside from his musical talent, as we will soon experience with his family here, and much more. He will now soon be most famous for being the illuminator of the ice menorah 
Hanukkah on ICE NYC 2021. The Morali family are going to do uh, an original 60 second version of the Ma'os tour that we will sing later after the candle lighting. Hit it. Right after that, we light the menorah. Morali to light the shamash, after which Laurent will say the brachot and light the menorah.
Thank you very much, the Morali family. Can all go back on the ice now. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, behind the car, bye bye.